In the previous video, we briefly looked at the future digital drawing. If it's clear what to do, the rest of the question is how to do it. As graphic software develops rapidly, advantages and disadvantages are emerging. The advantage is that if what to do is determined, it can be created incomparably easily compared to before. And the disadvantage is that as we acquire continuously updated functions, we have less time to think about what to do. The fun of drawing using Blender's grease pencil and geometry nodes. I thought about how to get the efficiency of the work together. One of the easy ideas to come up with is draw a leaf with a grease pencil, use this leaf as an instance. It is to arrange according to the shape of the curve object. It's like this. It can be seen as making a kind of a custom stroke. Because I used grease pencil as an instance, additional modifications and updates are possible while looking at the drawn status. This is the flow of work. Draw a leaf shape with a grease pencil object. Draw a curve object in which leaves are to be arranged. Arrange the instances at the points of the curve. Copy and rotate the stem 180 degrees around the axis of the curve. Add countless additional details, such as random size or more sophisticated arrangements. Let's look only at the most basic idea stage. Erase all existing objects and add a grease pencil object to draw a leaf shape. Create a curve object that will represent the stem. Click the Geometry Nodes tab. Create a new node tree with a new button. I'll name it Time. Draw stem shape with the Draw tool in Edit mode. Add an instance on points node to arrange leaves along the stem. Add and connect the join geometry node to work while looking at the shape of the stem. Drag and drop the grease pencil object and connect it to the instance socket. Add the curve to mesh node so that the shape of the stem is rendered. And designate the curve circle as the perfect curve. Add a black material to make the stem look black. and connect the Send Material node. The applied material can be found in the rendered view. Duplicate the Instance on Points node so that leaves appear on the other side. Before that, we group nodes to avoid looking too complicated. Click Ctrl Shift D to duplicate the node connected. Add the Rotate Instances node to rotate 180 degrees on the Y axis. It's a little awkward to draw with a curve in this state so far. Add a sample curve node to make the points look good. Add 
After disconnecting nodes with Ctrl right click to make it easier to add resemble curves. Create a midpoint with Shift right click and connect it to the nose again. And add the sample curve node. You can adjust the sample count to suit your taste. In order to make the leaves look natural according to the curvature of the stem, connect the rotation to input socket at groom node. To align according to the normal of the curve representing the stem, connect the normal node to the vector socket of the align order to vector node. This is the most basic node configuration. Additionally, you can configure the nodes you want to focus on. For example, let's try not to show leaves at the bottom of the stem. Connect the selection option to the input socket in the instance on points node group. By adding an endpoint selection node, we can control where leaves appear through the Start Size option and the End Size option. Simple animation can be implemented by adding Trim Curve node. The advantage of this work method is that the grease pencil was used as an instance. By modifying the picture of the grease pencil object, we can work while looking at additional changes. Grease pencil and geometry nodes, art and math, these two look very good together. I hope you enjoy working on it. Thank you for your time.